hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to this video today we'll be learning how to put parts along part basically we'll be learning how to add an effect to a part making it harbor another part along it uh, talk less and do more let's close up all of this and show you guys how to do it from scratch go to your parts tool if you haven't had an idea on how to use parts yet basic course tools yet go to my video if the link is in the description down below go and watch that video if you are a beginner in uh inkscape i mean let's create a part using our basic course tool now we have a part but it has a feel and no stroke let's control shift f on our keyboard to bring up the fields and stroke dialog box or it's over here Remove the fill, give it a stroke, black, nice. And um, let's do this. We want something along this part. Let's say you want a star that goes along the path. So create your star, create your path. Now we want to put this on the path. Let's go to our part effect. So go to part on your menu go down to path effects path effects click on path select the path first path effects create create a new effect and um, say pattern along path pattern along path with that you can actually put a pattern along the path something that goes along the path so so the thing that should be along the path needs to be a path itself it needs to be a path so this star we created is not a path per se it has some things attached to it so go to path click on your star go to path and say object to path the star was an object but now it is a path it can be edited you see so leave it as, as a path Anything that is not a path cannot go on the path, cannot be used along the path. That is a rule you should remember. So select, go to our select tool, or let's return to our star, copy it, control C on your keyboard, go to part. Now, under your effects, part effects dialog box, go to paste path. The paste part puts that star along the path so notice something it is kind of weird it looks nothing like your star that is because it is single and it is stretched out the pattern copies is single and stretched out so if you use single the single star and remember our path was long or a single it should be repeated depending on your on the result you desire so let's go to repeated and stretched no not stretched let's just go to repeated and with that, you could actually adjust the spacing. You want more space between your stars. You want them to be spaced out a little bit, a little more. Some of them look weird, but some of them still look like stars. So it's good enough. And um, if you wanted to reduce the size of these patterns, You see, if you reduce this, this doesn't change. So it will require you to go back to copy this first, go back to your pants and paste it again to make it repeated. But there is something. Let's undo those. There's something. If you copied this and went to your path and said link to path in clipboard. So anything that happens to the original happens to the, these others. So it's linked now. If you adjusted this, the others are just if you reduce this the others reduce it all right and actually if you change the color nothing happens to the others it uses the color of the parents um let's adjust this path this path can be handled just like other parts you could actually change the stroke stroke gives a green feel let's say yellow stroke style let's give it two more like it so you have a path that has the harbor stars around it let's click on the path again 
go to your parts effect and let's turn off that so you see what it looks like with the part along pattern along path effect with it turned off is a normal path turned on is something cool let's see how to make something more like a rope you want to make something like a rope using Inkscape what do you actually do let's say you want to make um let's say you make a path a rope like structure there we have it and let's go to our fills stroke remove the fill leave it as a stroke and let's actually make the pattern for the rope so go to the side and um using our parts to let's make i want it to have more like a v-like shape let's select two of them copy them paste drag it below to see what it looks like i can see this looks this needs a little bit of adjust let's increase the width of these two let's give it something like five There we have it. Now let's let's copy these two, paste it, select the two of them, and go to path, go to union. It unites the two of them into a path. Now what you need to do is you copy them, go to your pattern, to your path, create a new effect. Paste it. Go to repeat it. Now you actually have something here. It looks like this. But we want them not to, you want them to follow this on what we, we expect. So you actually have to go and say pattern is vertical. So to make it look vertical more like this and um, we need more thickness to this so go to your fill and stroke give it five i believe that's what we used and um, go to your part effect and give them more spacing between there we have it you have this so the basic rule is whatever you are putting along your part needs to be a part itself so we had, if it's two different parts, nope, you need, actually need to convert them. You actually need to make them a union. You actually need to unite the two of them to make them a single part. If it's not a path, maybe it's, maybe it's a star or maybe it's a rectangle. These are objects. They are not usually classified as parts. You need to convert them to go to your pattern object to pattern all of them must be patterns so all of them must be parts so convert them to part the same way we did for these stars and we have a cool effect you know i actually used this in a project i was working on for a client let me find that project for you and show you guys what it looks like where is it this is a logo design it was used to make this okay this was a logo design I actually made um something that looks more like a rope or less like a rope is a is a logo design for Zolo West. Let's check the actually the other mockup. Yes, there we have it. This is what it looks like. So what I had to do was make these into a path placed along. It actually is actually easy, but it looks complex. But it's easy to make. It's easy to design. Um, thank you very much for watching. Remember, the design files are in the description down below. If you want to download them, have a go at what I did on the tutorial, you can actually have a look at it. Thank you very much for watching. If you had a question, ask me in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer your questions as much as I can and make sure to practice. Practice makes you an awesome dude or a lady. Gentle ladies and men, see you on the next video.